Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are studying at the moment um, Peter's second letter. Uh, we're just starting um, chapter 2 today. Um, we're going to look at the first three verses. Those verses say this. But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you. They will secretly, <laughs> secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who brought them bringing swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their depraved conduct and will bring the way of truth into disrepute. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with fabricated stories. Their condemnation has long been hanging over them and their destruction has not been sleeping. Um, it sounds quite dramatic when you hear those words read like that. But Peter was trying to address a particular problem. And it's a problem that shouldn't be unfamiliar to us. We live in a world that is so full of ideas and choices, some of which are so convincing and compelling that it can be quite difficult to separate, the, separate out the things that are uh, truth from the fictitious. For example, some will say that all faith, faiths lead to the same God and the same heaven. And whilst that's a really nice idea, it does kind of beg the question, why would God need several different belief systems to lead people to him? Since he's the creator of the universe, you'd think he'd be able to connect with all of humanity in the same way. And on top of that, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except by me, which indicates that there is only one way to connect with God, and that is by getting to know his son, Jesus, first. As far as I'm aware, the other religions don't make those claims or state those things. We listen to other doctrines and other teachings at our peril. Not all roads lead to Rome. In fact, many lead to some quite dark places where God is most certainly not to be found. Peter wanted his readers to understand the importance of maintaining the correct relationship with God through Jesus Christ, his son. And so we too should pay heed and focus on the things that we know to be true and trustworthy. So we should be starting with the Bible. We should be starting with the teachings of Jesus, the things uh, that, that we know are written for our benefit and our edification. And then we build on our relationship from there. So let's do that and uh, let's begin today by praying together. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would be revealed more deeply to each of us today. I pray, Lord, that you would fill us more and more each day with your Holy Spirit, that we might have heaven's affirmation that we are living and worshipping in spirit and truth. I pray, Lord, that you'd come and fill each of us right now, that you'd help us to know your presence, that we might come to know our Father in heaven more deeply and more intimately through you. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.